when the light enters a prism it gets deviated now we have found wonderfully that uh, the light has got different colors when we see something green around us is it a different type of light when we see something red is it a different type of light so first we should understand what is the difference in colors so every light is formed by vibrations of electric fields vibrations of electric field and those vibrations are having certain frequency and because of that frequency the effect on our eyes is different the sensation on our eyes because of different frequencies gives rise to different colors so colors are function of different frequencies of the light now the light travels with a particular speed that speed is v and this v is in the wave it is wavelength lambda multiplied by frequency if the frequency of the different light is different naturally lambda will also be different so initially we think that the different colors of light are due to different wavelengths and because of the different wavelength the colors are different we measured different wavelengths by the different methods and we found that this is the wavelength and this wavelength in angstrom is violet blue green yellow and red okay this i said angstrom okay so this is wavelength of the light and this wavelength is in free space it corresponds to this light now see when a light enters a prism we see that it deviates but we found strangely that different wavelengths that is different frequency bend by a different angle and any one material glass or any one material behave differently under the effect of different colors certain colors bend less and some color bend more with the same material so we did the experiment we found that this white light when it pass through prism one red light is deviated violet is also deviated but the deviation of violet is more than deviation of red so more violet again bend more so violet appears to come in this direction red appear to come in this direction because their bending is different and when bending is different who decides the bending there is a power in the medium which bends which deviates so we say is this power different for red and different for violet answer is yes it is different for red and different for violet so the refractive index for different colors is different and here we have given a list there are two type of glasses we are using to make prism one is known as crown glass and one is known as flint glass flint glass is more powerful than the crown glass therefore their bending powers are different and bending powers are given by the refractive index so the refractive index with the crown glass if it is a violet then this is the refractive index if it is red then this is the refractive index and you see this is 1 5 and this is 3 2 that means violet is bent more than the red this we have found from the experiments so red is deviated but violet is deviated more 
So what happens? This red after two bendings, one here, one here, has adopted this direction. Violet after two bendings, it has adopted this direction and now we find their directions have separated. Now their direction has separated and this action we call dispersion. So this phenomena of separating the colors is known as dispersion of light. Bends more. Answer violet bends more. So violet has got more deviation. Red has got less deviation. Now this angle is what? This is deviation of red. Then what is this angle? This is initial ray and this is violet. So this is deviation of violet. Now what is the measurement of this angle? Here red and violet both were parallel. The angle between them was 0 degree. Now here is the red, here is the violet and this is no more 0 degree. How much is this angle? This is delta V, this is delta R. So this is delta V minus delta R. This is their dispersion angle. So this is known as angle of dispersion. Now they are no more parallel. They have got different direction. So this is angle of dispersion. And this is delta violet minus delta red. The difference of two deviations is angle of dispersion. Yes. So here is angle of dispersion and this is phenomena of dispersion. What is the root cause of phenomena of dispersion? Answer, because the deviation by the prism or deviation by the medium for different colors is different. Why the deviation is different? Okay, their refractive index or the power to deviate is different for different colors or the different frequencies of light behave differently with the same transparent medium. One will bend more and one will bend less. So this phenomena is known as dispersion. Now. Angle of dispersion is equal to delta V minus delta R. We know that delta is equal to, delta depends upon what? Refractive index. So if refractive index is more, the deviation will be more. That is why for violet it is more. Now, delta is equal to A mu minus 1. So this delta V we can write as A mu for violet this minus 1 minus delta R is A mu for red minus 1 here A is common and we get mu violet minus mu red so angle of dispersion depends upon refractive index for violet, refractive index for red and angle of prism. If angle of prism is large, then this dispersion will be large. So this is angle of dispersion, the angle between red and violet and angle between different colors. There will be different colors here and you know this sequence, this is V I B G Y O R. Vibhya. This is red and this is violet. All the seven colors will be there and they will be having different angles. <coughs> so this is angle of dispersion. Please remember this formula. Then <coughs> there is one term known as dispersive power of the medium. This depends upon the Angle of dispersion depends upon the angle of prism, angle of prism here. If the angle is more or less, then 
this angle of dispersion will be more or less, but we want a term which tells us which glass has got more dispersive power, which material has got more dispersive power. So, we establish a condition, we establish a term dispersive power of the medium. Dispersive power of the medium is again formulated as, please see, dispersive power omega is angular dispersion divided by mean deviation. Now, this formula we apply here. Angular dispersion, the formula is delta V minus delta red divided by mean deviation. Mean deviation, what should we take as mean deviation? Here, this is deviation for red and this is deviation for violet. How can we take mean deviation? The answer is mean deviation is the average value and when we go to practice in the lab, we take the deviation of yellow color as mean deviation. As far as writing it is concerned, we can simply write it as delta. So, this is equal to, now delta V is equal to A mu V minus 1, A mu V minus 1. So, this will be, this has got formula, this A mu V minus mu red, this is angular dispersion divided by delta and delta is equal to again A mu minus 1. Here A is cancelled. So, what we get is only this much. Now, A is no more there. That means whether prism has got a small angle or a large angle. It does not matter. Then what matters? What matters is refractive index and refractive index is property of the medium and not the property of the prism. Refractive index is property of the medium. So this is property of the medium. So now we got this formula. This is known as dispersive power of the medium. This is dispersive power and this is angular dispersion. So, angular dispersion depends upon angle of that particular prism as well as refractive index and this only depends upon refractive index. The question may be asked that this is mu for violet, mu for red. This mu is for what? There is no white. So, practically we take this mu as mu for yellow. So, these are all about producing colors by the press. The same phenomena we see whenever there are colors produced, maybe it is rainbow, maybe there are other features. Whenever there are two surfaces which are non-parallel, there is a dispersion, there is a deviation and the deviation also carries dispersion of the colors. So, that is why there are colors we see on the different surfaces in the sky and at so many other places. This is explanation or the fundamental how colors are produced. Colors are not made. The, they are already existing because of their combination, because all the colors initially are parallel all of them coming to our eyes at the same direction, the effect on our eye is white. So, I tell you again, when all the colors are coming from the same direction, the effect on the eyes is a sensation, we call it white. But if the different colors are coming from different direction, these, this is direction of all the red, red and this is direction of, this is direction of all the violets. Then in my eyes, this will focus at this point, 
this will focus at this point. Here I will see red, here I will see blue. But when all these were parallel, red, blue, both are parallel. This is all red, this is all blue. And here is the eye lens, they will focus at the same point. If they focus at the same point, then the effect is white. That is why we see white color as a combination of all the colors and we can see the colors only when they are separated in different directions. So on our eyes at different points the colors are different. So this is all about dispersion of colors. Thank you.